everyone, this is Blanche SB, and if you haven't heard, Blender Market has their spring sale going on. This is April 16th, 2022, and they've got two more days for the sale, and you can find a lot of great add-ons for about 25% off. And if you haven't heard, Serpents 3 is also out. They have a release candidate that is out for testing, and you can even create add-ons and export them currently. There's just a couple bugs for us to find and figure out whether or not it's an official release worthy and that'll be coming in the next few days. But I'm going to go ahead and start talking about Serpents 3 and just letting you know the previews about what's, what's to come. And uh, let's go ahead and dive right in. So on the Blender Market, they already have the page updated talking about Serpents 3. They have their new long-awaited documentation, and they're covering the transition from Serpents 2 to Serpents 3. They cover things such as getting started, creating interfaces, programs, blend data, properties, variables, using assets inside the Serpents node graph, packages and snippets, exporting Curtis Holt's easy BPY and how that's now fully integrated, and general Python integration. Now with easy BPY, you still have to install it the way Curtis Holt tells you to, but once it's there, you don't need to worry about adding the script like we did with Serpents 2. It's now more integrated. Now, if you've made graphs with Serpents 2, they are not compatible node graphs for Serpents 3. And that's because everything has been redone from the ground up. And it may be painful to say, oh man, I did all that work. Well, you can still use Serpents 2 to maintain your node graphs for everything you've done. But you're welcome to rebuild them. And that's part of learning and coding in general. So I, I, I do recommend, I'm going to be doing that with some of my add-ons, just converting them over. Now, aside from Serpents 3, there are also other add-ons that are available. And these are add-ons that are created by members of the community who have been using Serpents. So we have Elin, who's made the physics dropper. And this has been very popular over the past month. And it's only $3 right now. There's also the Select Buy, and that's made by Stephen Scott. He also has Haggis Tools that's out. And we have a couple more developers down below. And I've also created the Serpents version 2 Pomodoro add-on. And these all should be working still, even with the latest version of Blender. Um, so you're welcome to grab whatever you want. I've got affiliate links for Serpents 3 in my video description. So feel free to go ahead and grab that, either at Blender Market or Gumroad. I'm going to cover the install and just the add-on preferences in this video. And the next video is I'll be covering the basics of how to get started with Serpents. So once you've bought Serpents, you can go ahead and go to your visual scripting orders page where the, the add-on is found and then download the latest release candidate. Once that's downloaded, you can go ahead and open up Blender. And I'm currently using version 3.1.2. Go ahead and go to your edit preferences and click on your add-ons. And if you already have Serpens installed, go ahead and search for it and uninstall the old version. You're gonna wanna close Blender down. You have to completely remove it and then open Blender back up and then you're ready to install the latest version. Once Serpens is installed, you enable the add-on by clicking the checkbox and then open it up. Now the general settings here, we have a check for update section and every time Blender loads, Serpens will check to see if there's a latest update and it will give you a notification saying, hey, we got a new version. There's a debugging section as well for keeping error files. So if you make something in your add-on and it causes something to break, uh, you can take a look at the error file, and I like to turn that on by default. Now, compiling in Serpens version 3 is different, and I'm going to drag this open just a little bit more. You can force compiling at any time using Shift-R, but Serpens actually auto-compiles. So every time you add stuff to your UI or add notes to your graph, it's going to recompile, and it, they've built the structure in a way that it doesn't take very long anymore. And so because the performance improvements are there, you can live see what's going on as you're building your add-on. And I would say that's probably one of the coolest features with Serpents 3. Is you can throw anything on the UI and you can see it updating live. And if it breaks, you'll see that it breaks live. So you can start immediately troubleshooting it. Now you also have access to the node documentation. And anytime you're in the node graph, you can hit the shortcut key F1 and it will take you to the Serpents Online web documentation. There's also a new shortcut and this is for when we're using a new feature of Serpents 3, and it's called the Blend Data Browser. And you're going to get really comfortable using the Blend Data Browser because that's how you get access to all the properties 
and property functions and pointers that are used inside of Blender. It's way different than what we were doing in Serpents 2, but the concepts are actually pretty similar. So the shortcut key to paste nodes in that you've copied from that browser is Shift V. Not Control V, but Shift V. The marketplace is still available. You can get packages, you can get snippets, and you can get add-ons. Now snippets are currently being worked on. Um, they're not quite ready yet. But you can always download add-ons that have been released by the public in the marketplace, and they're available. Even if they were made in Serpents 2, you can go and grab the add-on still. Now the custom section here on the interface, this is for when you're making an add-on preferences. In Serpents 2, you had your own add-on preferences that got built with your add-on when you were developing. Well, now they're going to show up in this custom section, and that's new for Serpents 3. So don't go looking for them in your add-ons using the search filter. They're going to be found here inside of Serpents. And that'll help you as you're building your add-on in dev mode. You'll have easy access to everything here. And then once you export your add-on, it's going to show up as its own add-on and the preferences will be tied to it. So this is just for when you're in development. I've got lots of videos planned, um, starting with very basic things for those who are beginners. So stay tuned and I'll be posting more in the next days. Catch you then.